No trading in the United States, with it being July the 4th, holiday. It's the 5th today. Well, the 4th was on a Sunday, celebrated on the 5th. Broader markets in Europe close to record highs. And as you can see from the numbers, they are enjoying the, the, the sort of the boom that comes along with perhaps easier restrictions on COVID. And the head of BNP Paribas in the United States says he expects rate rises from the Fed and the Bank of England next year, and the ECB won't be far behind. I asked Jean-Yves Fillon if he shares the worries that the global economy was now running too hot. Well, first, we do see inflation. We do see uh, a 4% inflation in the United States for 2021, a 2% inflation in Europe, uh, annualized. And uh, uh, definitely what's driving uh, the trends today are what we call transient factors, you know, uh, logistical bottlenecks, uh, release of pent-up demand, reopening of some COVID-19, uh, you know, dependent sectors with a shortage of workforce. And this is the driver. However, we are watching very closely some more prominent factors, such as wages. Right, because if you look prices. at... Well, we saw in the last FOMC two rate rises by the end of 23. So liftoff has been brought forward and one would expect tapering. The idea was talks about talks about tapering. Mm -hmm. Now I think we've gone a bit further than that. Now we're almost at the point of talks of tapering. It is very likely that as things develop, you will see central banks first and foremost uh, slowing and lowering their asset purchase and then, you know, eventually uh, hike rates. Right, but we're talking quite a short term now, because if the first rates are going to go up late 22, 23, then you're talking about stopping the tapering much sooner. Prediction is you might see the Bank of England, you know, hiking rates by uh, mid-2022, then the Fed will follow and probably the ECB in early 2023. How many employees have you got in the United States? 14,000 people. 14,000. How many people are you expecting back at work in the office? Today, Richard, the current status is uh, between 15 to 20 percent of our staff on premises. And we're uh, asking staff to come back gradually over the summer, expecting to have in the fall uh, anywhere between 40 to 50 percent of our staff on premises. But the hybrid model is here to stay. Yeah, Johnny, I need to let's be blunt here. Where do you stand? Goldman wants them back. Morgan Stanley wants them back and says you will be back in the office. You know, the famous the, the, the totem quote is now if you can go to a restaurant in New York, you can go back to the you can come back to the office. We want you back in the office. Where do you stand? Well, I can't comment on the firms uh, and the positions of the firm you just listed. But as it relates to BNP Paribas, we have a balanced approach on this. Obviously, we we, 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 by the way, I miss so much the physical interaction. It's so great to be in studio in person here. And uh, as we welcome our staff back in the office, I can tell you, I really enjoy the, you know, personal interaction, the face to face, the in person. Having said that, uh, the um, hybrid model will, uh, has shown some uh, um, benefits and uh, um, staff, by the way, will will appreciate and and will value the agility and the flexibility then this is something we will continue to support but the truth is you're all still making it up as you go along i mean nobody really knows how it's going to work you can't have the staff fully hybrid uh, fully out and you can't have the staff fully in and someone to be in on some days and someone to work in the office not on thir or fri uh, mondays or fridays and i think that's an excellent point and this is where it will really vary across staff depending on the position and the role they have at the bank for instance certain category of staff you have to be on premises if you work in you know I I infrastructure uh, most of the trading but some other positions can definitely benefit from more flexibility i guess what i'm really getting at in, in my question is do you believe that there has been a permanent shift in working practices as a result of the pandemic I, I do believe that it's part of the new normal, absolutely. Uh, other, by the way, dimensions of the new normal have uh, you know, started being pretty clear. You and I spoke about you know, business traveling, and we used to travel a lot. We will continue to travel, but in a very different way. Uh, if you look at real estate, uh, real estate footprint in the large cities, 
it's, uh, it's evolving into a very different dimension as well. And I do believe that the working from home, the digitalization of the economy is uh, a new paradigm of the post-pandemic world.